latest new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed. And today I want to show you three different games again, which are Slinka Drift, Ghost Rider Adventure and Air Combat Panda Commander. My name is Gerald and as always I've got a couple of different things with me, which are for instance the Arc Mouse for instance, which is of course for mouse input. And I'm going to use my Fordo keyboard as always as my main keyboard device input part. And there could potentially be the Xbox One's wireless controller in this game, but uh, there is no real setup here where that makes sense, so I'm not going to use that. And um, yeah, then we got of course the Lumia 950XL as a whole core thing here. So this is my smartphone I'm going to use for this continuum experience. And of course this is continuum enabled, has a Mozo cover at the back and of course the USB-C connector at the bottom here. And the USB-C connector at the bottom has of course a cable in it which is connected to my display dock at the side here and my display dock at the side is of course connected to my TV and like that I can play a couple of different games and stuff like that on my TV and uh, of course I could do more like for instance some kind of office work or something or just uh, just for instance surfing uh, in the, or browsing in the web browser or something like that and like that there are a couple of different options but we are of course going to use the gaming option because I am showing you a couple of games today. Okay, so um, if you want to know more about the whole setup process, about how that is done and stuff like that, please have a look at the corner up there, so you will find additional information about that. And then I would say, let's start with the first game, which is Slinka Drift. For that I'm going to use my mouse here and I'm going to go to my um, All Apps list. And of course I'm going to just activate it, it's a pretty new game I installed, so I can just use it now. And if I click on that, it's going to start up. And um, what this game is all about is about driving a car on a, on a track. You have to stay on that track. And what you are going to do is you're not going to use your keyboard or something, or for instance your finger or something for, the, uh, for steering it around in a real fashion. But what you are going to do is you have, yeah, let's say a sliding experience with this game. So there, if for instance there's going to be any kind of a corner or any kind of a of a road change there or a change direction um, you are going to have a small little let's say hook or something with which you can uh, connect the, the car with that part and by just pressing your mouse button the car will slide around that, uh, that uh, hook there and like that you can, for instance, uh, go through the curve. And if the curve is then, um, yeah, you're, more or less it has a, a different direction than uh, the car because it's sliding around that point. And you have to be very careful how long you are pressing your button or using your finger because that will more or less distinguish if you are going to go around that curve or if you are going to die on the side because you are leaving the track, for instance. So. Let's have a look how that is looking. I don't think there is music in this game. I'm not sure about it, but I don't think so. But it doesn't matter. As you can see, we can just tap to start and we'll, we will do that now. And then the car is just driving around. And now you just have to press the button. And as you can see, you are going to slide around that pole there or whatever, it's a hook, whatever you want to call that. And uh, so you have to get your the right angle more or less to go around that and just leave the mouse button at the right position so go uh, so press it as long as you need to go around the corner and after that uh, just leave it away so i died very quickly in this game so let's try it again we can of course watch for instance one of the videos here to to of course support the developer which is really a nice game i like the, the concept of this game and um so if you want to do that, please do that. I'm not going to do it in this this video tutorial here or in this uh, video presentation, but uh, after that we might do that. And um, of course the car will, as you can see, um, will be redirected to a more or less good course on that, uh, that slide. So you are not going to have to get exactly the right angle or something. To, uh, to drive on it uh, the long way after that, 
but you should of course more or less give the computer the option or the smartphone the option to at least try to get it in the right direction again and if that is not going to happen you're going to die as I did. Okay, let's try it once again. It's a very simple gaming principle. I really like it. Ooh. As you can see, we got in the next level now. Next level just means that we are going to have to uh, drive in a faster way here. And as you can see, we got it six times around now. But then I just died. As you can see, you can uh, can uh, collect these kind of diamonds here, which are the points more or less. Um, I'm not really sure what that is all about. Uh, the three diamonds. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, probably I would say it's going to give me some kind of an option to do something with it. But I'm really not sure. Of course, I can, for instance, share this game and stuff like that. But I'm not sure what I should do with that now. Maybe I can buy another car or something. I'm not sure. Didn't see till now that there is some kind. Ah, maybe this one. Ah, okay, yeah. Here I can, for instance, get another car, as you can see. And there are a couple of different other ones. And they are even reasonably priced. So if you want to buy something like that, you can, uh, can do that after a short while. And I think that's very fair of the develop uh, developer. And they are pretty nice ones too. Okay, I think I like this one. So let's see if we can already buy that. Yeah, we can. And now we are driving with this Viper around. So let's try it once again to see if there is a different behavior. I don't think that there is a different behavior because there's really no bigger need for that. As you can see, there's no uh, no different behavior. But still, pretty nice, pretty fun game. Very easy to play, very addictive to play, if you ask me. And so, try it out. It's really a nice one. Have fun with it. Okay, so let's have a look at the second game today for this episode. And in this uh, one, there will be... Uh, well, it's called Ghost Rider Adventure. So we are going to uh, to meet one of the heroes you might already know from your comic strip or something. So let's see, because we are going to have fun with Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider Adventure is more or less something like um, Up the Hill or something it's called. Um, so you are just driving with Ghost uh, Rider on a path and you have to make sure that you are not uh, not going to uh, break down with your, uh, your motorcycle in this case. And of course you have to uh, to drive around on a certain path and stuff like that. So let's have a look. You will recognize this game the minute I show it to you. But it's pretty nicely done and it's featured like that. Um, we are going to wait you later. Thank you. And of course you can use your finger to do it. But I'm going to use my, uh, my keyboard for, it, uh, for doing it. Pretty uh, straightforward uh, control here, so to uh, to increase speed, of course, you are going to press W. If you want to turn in one of the directions, you are going to use A and D, and S is for braking. And um, yeah, let's have a look at that. Just press on the button. First level, you can see there are a couple of different levels to go to. And now what's going to happen is... As you can see, we are driving with Ghost Rider as our car, our uh, driving partner here. And you can, of course, get rid of, for instance, all the different um, different ads and stuff like that by buying or just pressing it away. Or you just try to play it in this game. In general, it should not really hinder you much. I'm going to try to drive around here. As you can see, at the moment, we are even experiencing not the fastest FPS parts here because of the, the ads. So maybe you might want to think about, whoa, 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 whoa. we are going to die now. No, okay, thought we would. Um, you might want to think about getting rid of the ad. Uh, this is something that is 
not really a problem by the app, but it's a problem by the by the um, temperatures we are at the moment experiencing here. But in the end, this is like the game is working. Um, as always, as you know from these kind of games, you don't uh, you shouldn't crash down in any kind of way, or or at least um, try to not in any kind of way get in touch with one of the obstacles and stuff like that. So try to keep the the driver here on the right track, in the right direction, and play like this, and that should give you a nice little advantage here. And yeah, there's not much uh, more to show you in this game, so it seemed like uh, like Ghost Rider, of course. If I am going to press W now, we are going to drive around here. It's a little bit better now. And as you can see, you can of course just Try to turn the Ghost Rider here around in a way that it's working well for you. And if you are, for instance, in the air at the moment, you can of course turn your Ghost Rider uh, driver here in a different direction too. That is all that this is about. And yeah, the longer you can stand that, the better. And you shouldn't go like this. As you can see, there's a safe point if I would have got there. We wouldn't have to start again from the beginning. And let's try it once again, why not? And as you can see, I can just rotate my motorcycle in the air around, and I could even do it on the ground, but I wouldn't recommend that. And um, you just have to try to keep the balance, not like this, please. Um, and keep the balance and try to go, uh, go and play it like this. Yeah, so I would say let's go to the last game in this setup because there's not much more to show you here. It's really just this kind of, of uphill game, whatever you want to call that, so that you have to uh, keep the balance of your driver in this game and try to uh, drive around here like this. Okay, so, and the last game of today's episode is Air Combat Panda Commander, and I really like that game. It's one of the, those games where I'm really flying around with a, with a spacecraft or something. In this case, it's not really a spacecraft, it's, it's just an airplane or something. And you're going to uh, fly around and fire on the, on the enemy, and uh, this is seemed in a very nice way, because you are going to, uh, to fight against goblins in this case. And um, there are going to be, uh, for instance, different levels in this game. There are going to be different other stuff. And let's start it. And let's show it to you. So, Air Combat Panda Commander at this point. I'm going to turn around for this game. Um, this game has the potential to be played with a, with a keyboard. But it's built in a way that it's really only going to be played with your mouse or your finger if you want to. And uh, what you are going to have to do here is, you are really going to have to fight against all the different en enemies which are coming against you. So let's have a look at the options first. So if I click on that, as you can see there is not much to, uh, to do here, but there are two different modi to play with. So one is that the, the um, airplane you are going to, uh, to steer around here is more or less at your finger or at your mouse pointer. And the other one is that it's going to use a relative um, movement of your finger or mouse pointer only to drive around. And what you are going to use is really up to you. Um, I'm going to leave it as a standard now and you could of course change the default to something else and go for instance for that one. And of course you can uh, put for instance uh, mute the game if you want to and stuff like that, but really not, not very important. Um, let's have a look at the part here. Here you can buy, for instance, different um, different other planes. And as you can see, there's always this little kind of of nice helper. Okay. As you can see, I don't have any options there. There's only one plane at the moment available, but um, maybe there will be um, another one soon, but first off let's play it just and go to the play button and let's have a look what we are going to have to play here. So um, we are at the stage one, 
each and every stage is a longer kind of, of level, so uh, it takes a little to, to get used to the game and to go through the stages. And um, what you are going to experience here is you are going to fight against different kind of, of enemies, um, which for instance are firing at you or not and stuff like that. So let's have a look at the real cool thing about the game is the optic. I really like the, the style they use here and um, it's really a nice one. And let's start up. As you can see, this is your, your playing vehicle, whatever you're playing. And if you click on it, you should hold your mouse button down now. It's going to fire, uh, fire all the time, as often as it can. And there are different enemies coming for you on the ground, on the air and stuff like that, as you can see. There's only a certain playing area you have. So it's really just in the middle of the game, more or less, or in the middle of the of the part of sea here. And as you can see, you can collect all these different um, things. You're not going to die the first time you are hit. There is some kind of a health bar. You might see it later on. And of course, there are power ups, as you can see, and you really have to just drive around. Hold your mouse button. If you're not doing doing that, I will do that now. You can see it's going to be in that kind of very, very slow mode. It's not really a pause or something, it's really just a very slow mode. For instance, if you are... For some reason or the other, it's just too, far, too fast for you in some situations and you need to think about something. Just leave the mouse button and you will have more time to think about what to do with that. And as you can see, there are enemies all around. On different occasions, there are boats against you, there are flying vehicles against you, there are those kind of static defense ones, and so on and so forth. As you can see, there are going to be, let's say, lava sticks, whatever, with its indication that they are coming here. There is a tank. I can't hit the tank, so it's really not in my playing area, so it's going to fire at us all the time. Those guys have seeking missiles, which, which are really, really hard to come by. So be aware that a different, um, that the different enemies are really pretty different often. And of course, you should try to collect all the different. Can't even fire on the on the uh, on the missiles, yeah. Um, and keep in mind to collect all the different parts you, uh, you get here. And after a while, if you are living long enough, you are going to fight one of the boss enemies here, because each and every level more or less has a boss enemy. And those boss element, uh, enemies are of course very different to what you experienced before. Here you can see we are going to fight against mines now. And there are the bad goblins guys. You really should be very cautious uh, with them. They are very easy to, to kill, but they really have a high damage output. So be aware that you are not going to really get in touch with the, uh, their weapons. Yeah, and now it seems like we are at the end of the stage and we are going to fight our first boss enemy. As you can see, which is a nice feature, if you are, for instance, using your finger, your plane will all the time be over... Okay, there's a little, a little story kind of way here. Yeah, one does not uh, try to threaten a ponder, of course. Why not? And as you can see, here is our boss enemy and it's going to be harder to kill him, of course. You already know those kind of games here. Yeah? And uh, be very cautious, because at the start it's very easy and the longer you are playing against him and the more you have already destroyed. As you can see, we have to fire on the back uh, wings there. Yeah? And we have to do that for a couple of different shots, of course. It's not going to die from one or two shots. As you can see, we got the first one now. We can uh, get a ma lot of the stars for that. Let's see if we can 
try to get them. And of course, be aware that the health bar of yours is very, very important now. Because he's going to have different weapons to fire at you. And you really have to try to avoid them here. Okay, works out. Let's try it again. What I really find a little bit annoying is that I can't go to the edge here. As you can see, now we have to fire at the main wings there. And I hope that in, in future we are going to have a different weapon too. As you can see, I can't even fire at that, uh, that side there now. So we just have to change our parts there because the enemy is driving or flying to the other side all the time. Okay, first main. Let's try the second one. After that it's going to be pretty hard because now he is firing that at us and I'm really not sure how to avoid that fully. Yeah, we died from it. But still, this is a game, it's really fun to play, you really have to be very cautious about where to fly, what you are going to do here. It's a nice little game, if you like this top-down view on, on such, uh, such games. It's more or less like Raptor, for instance, if you know that very, very old game, one of the first I played when I was a child, I think. But very, very fun, very much, uh, a very nice and easy game, more or less. Um, it's not that easy, but easy enough to play it and, and not be frustrated or something by it. Um, it's really nicely done, it's uh, painted nicely, there's a little bit of a backstory behind it, and yeah, just try it out, I really like it. Hopefully you will do it too. Okay, so I would say this concludes the episode of today, and so if you didn't do that till now, please hit the subscribe button down below. Of course, if you want to give this uh, video a thumbs up, please do that now. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching, thank you for listening. If you have any kind of questions, please put them down below in the commentary section. And other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Uh, we will see us in the next episode next week, at the weekend Sunday. And um, so, thank you for watching, have a nice week, have a nice day, and see you soon. Bye. Bye.